thanks for staying with us. So we'll be discussing the royal perspective, the highly controversial 10-point communique, popularly known now as the Asaba Declaration, that was issued by the Southern Governors Forum on the State of the Nation. Joining us now on the show is the Oluwo Iwo Oba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akombi. Welcome to the show, sir. You are. Welcome to the show. You can call us on 081-270-53687. Also, 913 You can also tweet us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Kabisi, welcome to the show, sir, again. Thank now, I know that um, when this communique came and um, there was an outright declaration on the ban of open grazing, and I then remember that during that time when Sonny Boho came out, and you were very, you, you were saying that the Fulanis live amongst us and that um, they live peaceably with us. Yeah. That there shouldn't be any reason to ask anybody to leave. Um, so if we look at that with this new proclamation by the Southern Governors, do you still believe it was right for them to make that open declaration that says no open grazing in the south um, part of Nigeria? Um, good morning. Actually, I want to commend uh, TVC. Um, despite the, um, the NSAS attack, they were still able to come back. Yeah, and you. I really appreciate it. That's very good. Thank you, sir. Uh, I commend you. And uh, I've seen some uh, of your officials that are workers that are wounded, some of them. Um, and uh, I just pray that God will uphold. Yeah. Uh, I had a summit yesterday, which was like a... Uh, summit uh, among uh, Fulani herders and um, the farmers. And uh, what we came out is that you can see when it talks in, when we are talking about ranching, open grazing, and everything, the, the average Fulani man doesn't know what that is. These people live in the bush, they don't, um, the average Fulani herders, they live in the bush, they don't know what is, what is. so you have to take them through a process. Take them through this process. You are, we are Nigerians. We have to think about each other. You know, if you were the tribe in that kind of situation, when you are talking about uh, Yoruba, um, Fulanese, you go this place. Uh, Fulanese, the, the old tribe is the criminal. We have cr criminals in all ethnic tribes. So it's not possible for you to just criminalize one tribe. And that's when I see little, ch little female children, little kids, their wives being driven and stuff like that. I was like, wow, no, this is not who we are. Mm. <laughs> as Yorubas, we are not wicked like this. Mm. You don't, yeah. there are many Nigerians doing stuff outside the country. And today, in America and everywhere, today, Nigeria is the deputy secretary treasury. Mm. And we have Nigerians in jail who committed many crimes. They didn't say Nigerians are criminals. A criminal is a criminal. A bandit is a bandit. Mm. And so what we do here is uh, you have to take the full line into a, through a process, which is what I propose to them is that if you guys are 100, let 50 out of you go for another business, which is a stacking, which is to collect the grass. The okay. grass, which you are taking the cow to go and eat and go for miles. You yourself go for the miles and take the grass and bring it to the cow. Mm. This is uh, the process you have to take an uh, average full animal to. And the government, it has to be an intervention program for right. the government. Mm. Right. Okay, let me so, come. Sir, um, the southern governors said, actually, they made it clear that yes. they are not uh, saying that people or a, part a particular ethnic group should leave. Yeah. That they are talking about the criminal element. Yeah, the criminal. Yeah, the criminal element in that group. Yeah. So, and then, but you know, now listening to you, I wonder, do you think that that meeting would have been better served if um, our traditional leaders were involved because you're closest to the people. Yeah. You understand the visitors and what they do. Yeah. Do you think in their conversations concerning open grazing, concerning who may be the criminal element in the communities, is better uh, done if you're part of this conversation? 
Uh, it's not only about where this country is right now. We need the, especially the paramount rulers in Nigeria, in Yoruba land, we need for them to be recognized constitutionally. The local aspect of it, the governor can take care of the states. The traditional rulers should take care of the local side. I take care of the security in my domain. Everything out, your domain must be better, development-wise, everything-wise. Everything is on the neck of the traditional ruler. But we have no, it's like a dog without no teeth. And uh, we, uh, the government now, the government must recognize the traditional rulers, especially the paramount ones, because we have many traditional, but the paramount rulers, they need to be recognized constitutionally, and it is now, mm. not even Later. because this is getting out of hand. The politicians cannot do this by themselves. Right. They mm. can't do it alone. Okay. It's not possible. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the political meeting that the South, the communique um, was to ban open grazing yeah. across the Southern Belt. Yeah. Um, and the reason for that is we cannot identify the good from the bad. Yeah. But if we eliminate everybody and let's, let only legitimate businesses um, branch their cattle yeah. and we register those businesses, when we see anyone not within their business district, we can identify them as being um, criminals because they're not conforming with the laws of the environment. No, and, and, you can't do that. And, and according to, and I'm not the spokesperson, but we yeah. interviewed um, the governor for... Uh, Undo. Undo State yeah. last week after the meeting, and those were the feedback he gave us. Then he also mentioned that the reason for this is it's been a really cumbersome process to secure the environment. You are saying there are other ways that this could have been managed better. Yeah. What has the have you has there been a meeting between all the traditional rulers of the southern area to come up with their own suggestion? of how we can better secure this belt? Uh, unfortunately, uh, in, the, in uh, the Yoruba side, which is the southwest, we don't have a Yoruba council of others. Oh, okay. So we only have states. Okay. So every state take care. But I take care of my own domain. I'm talking about my own domain. And it's, it can be a pilot project for Nigeria. Mm. And that's what I do. I make sure my, my community is mm. well, safe, Peaceful and secure. But I want to go back to the first and question, sir, because it's important. It, I want question, to address the first part no. of the fact that how else could they identify, remove the criminals from those who do legitimate those business? The only way we can, the only solution in this country is this country should be a police state. Each, this police state. Okay. What I'm talking about, the unemployed youths in Nigeria today. We need to create an employment front in the security area employ five to seven million police, custom, immigration. We need to man our borders. Our borders is porous, it's very free. We have over a thousand kilometers of border from Niger down to the Atlantic by Benin. How many borders are there? Then again, why we need to make this country a police state? Like Germany, when you get to Germany, they ask you, Osweiss Bitei, that's, where's your identity? In Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, they ask you, Kadandite. They want to know who you are. If you don't have a tribe here, if you don't have no family contacts here or anything, there must be a database for Nigerians. This country is an, on the edge of going to collapse if we don't take. We have foreigners. These foreigners, they are remnants of Gaddafi. Gaddafi's mercenaries. Terrorism. Gaddafi did a lot bad to Africa than any other, any other president. Gaddafi was collecting mercenaries from everywhere. Charles Taylor is a product of Gaddafi. He trained him. Prince Johnson of Liberia is a, for the sank of Sierra Leone is a product of Gaddafi. He has these mercenaries for over, since the 80s. That anybody from anywhere in Africa, he brings them in, sponsor them, and he's the one feeding them. Anybody who wants to have a coup against any country in Africa, Gaddafi takes them. And this is what is causing problem. He has harmed them. He has given them enough money. But when Gaddafi now passed, the locals are now driving those people away. 
and those people they have that's a state cachet of arms. So most of them move down to the only country that they know that has porous borders, that is not small, the mm. only country they know is Nigeria. So when the governors then say, everybody stop open grazing, because yeah. they, they are coming in, yes, but they are coming in the disguise of herding cows. Mm. So yeah. your governors are now saying, everybody first of all leave. Now, according to Governor of Ondo State, let us register those who are doing legitimate business. So, me, so why is that a problem? Why location. do you think let that, me, that, that wouldn't work? Let me come in from that. They didn't come in as, a, as herders. Okay. They came in as mercenaries and terrorists. But the people they met in the bush mm. are, are the herders. The herders live in the bush. Mm -hmm. So they, even what we are talking about now, the Fulani in Nigeria cannot contain them. It's out of their league. Mm. These people met them there and said, shut up. You're in the bush here. Nobody is taking care of you. you. You don't have water. You don't have anything. We have weapons. You see, Nigeria needs the president, actually, right now. He needs to create this employment to fight back, which is the police force, the army, everything. He needs to create that employment for our, for our own people to be able to defend themselves. these borders. No, we can't say everybody should defend themselves and put guns in everybody's hand in Nigeria. That would be bad. That would be the worst thing ever. So what they need to do now is these same Fulanis, we still need them, those ones in the bush. Mm -hmm. We still need them for them to give us information for those people, but we need to at least take care. Mm -hmm. That's if they're not already radicalized. Yeah, because want... you see one thing. Terrorism is very, very attractive yeah. to the unemployed. Unemployed, poor Nigerians, believe me, when they know you, are, you will have a gun in your hand, they can kidnap women for you, you can have your food, you will have, also have money from banditry and kidnapping. People are so much attracted to that. And that, if we let that go for more time than this, we are in trouble in Nigeria. We in the cities are not even safe. Mm. Nigeria mm. needs, the president needs to act now. Mm. In response to this, now. the, the, the um, regions have started calling for self-recognition. Some are calling for cessation completely. Yeah. There's so much insecurity in the land. What is your take on the Yoruba nation being called for in the, in the south, in southwest? And is there a voice, a common voice, for the Obas within the Southwest on the Yoruba nation, are you in agreement or against? Well, one thing I see about that is that we, this Nigeria, is the hope of all black race. This is the most populous country in the whole of, not only the just Africa, the, world. the only the most populous black nation. We are holding this, our diversity is our strength. We need to keep this and find a way to resolve our internal problems. Nigeria is so beautiful and so great. But the problem is just, we, we, uh, believe me, this country is, is uh, it, it will be the greatest country one day. Yeah, believe. We just need, we are smart people. We are great people. But we, 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 we tend to oppress our future. Mm. The leaders oppress their own future. Mm. So the future is being oppressed and suppressed. So it means in 30, 40 years time, if we don't take care of it now, we will still be oppressed people. Let and me... Nigeria mm. should not break apart. Mm. If there is problem, we can resolve it. And when people are talking about when Yoruba nation, Fulani should go, is it only Fulani in Yoruba here? Mm. We, have, we have the Igbo here. Are, you, are we sending Igbos away? Are we sending, how many people are we sending? How many of these um, ethnic? No, 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 right. So, and if you say only Fulani, then that, that's another thing. That's mm. ethnic yes. cleansing yeah. and bias. And this can lead to a chaos in this mm. country. Mm. And then this country sure, can stand Let that. me be sure I get you so that we're all on the same page. Yeah. You're saying that Af Nigeria is the biggest, strongest black nation in the world. Not biggest. 
In terms of size, Nigeria is not big. In terms of population, in terms of population, in terms of population yeah. that's what I meant, actually. Yeah. But, and, and we must take pride in that strength that yes. we have. Yes. And we have an opportunity to be one of the greatest nations in the world. Yes. And this issue we are having is such that it's not our fault. The Nigerians are not fighting each other, if I hear you right. Yeah. What you're saying is that the real criminals in the bushes yeah. are coming from outside. Yeah. What we need to do is engage our people our who people. are cattle herders in the bush. In the bush. That they met Engage them, yes. equip them yes. to defend themselves and to, to, no. to defeat the enemy. No, 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 no. To defend our borders. No, no, no. Okay. I'm not telling you to let the Fulani defend our borders. Okay. <laughs> we just need information from them. Yes. Okay. What I'm saying is employ. Employ them. These, yeah. No, not Fulanese only. Employ Nigerians. Mm, yes. The unemployed Nigerians now, if you don't have any employment opportunity for them in other places, yes. we need our security now. Right. So the employment, the water that should be Among created now is to our security. Yes, for the border. This country should be a police state where we started asking for everybody's identity. identity. Gotcha. A police country. We start okay. asking, and then there must be death penalties. You see, countries death that penalty. are great, yeah, countries that are great. Go and look at Singapore, Saudi Arabia. You can't commit crime all these kinds there. You people are scared to. How do you do it? In, uh, even in America, there's death penalty in Texas, in Mississippi, in many other places, in Georgia. Why we can't have death penalty and then implement it? Mm. Let people see it. Give them viewers' discretion is advised. And do what? Eh? What do you do? Execute. Execute. You execute some people, kidnappers, corruption. Mm. Mm. Should be punishable. The, okay. in this country right now, the way we are, we must be, we, mu uh, we must brutal. be brutal. We have animals who are walking as humans on the street. Mm. We have people who believe using humans for money. Who cut, you cut somebody's hand for money making, kill him. Mm. Mm. Let there be death penalty. Let there be re and implement those. Death penalty, let it, let it be shown. Let okay. people go to the beach mm. Mm. and see that if you commit this crime, if you do any kidnapping or you kill somebody, you will be killed oh, straight. Jesus. And believe me, you will see our crime will oh, go yeah. down. Mm. And then secure our borders by employing more. These are the things. These are the bane of the society. Great society must come from the Singapore today. Went from non-developed country to a developing. Today, Singapore is developed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the thing is, um, these ideas, mm -hmm. um, I, I strongly feel that... <sighs> It should have crossed the minds of our leaders because they are saddled with the problem. They, well, sentimental, Tope. We like sentiments. Uh, they are like it should have crossed their mind. We on this show we've spoken about it consistently. There are some offence, rape cases. Should they should be castrated? Those kind of things. Yes. We're, we're not having those firm laws. But the other side Tope, of employment. Sorry to pause you. Mm. Let's, let, let's, let's have a conversation. Mm. Our president came out and said, "Shoot aside." All of us educated the late. Ah, and he said that. No, He's yeah. not. The, no, I'm just saying. He was saying, "Shoot aside those with AK-47." Yeah. Yes. And those of us that went to school. Ah, and he said, "The anti is it against human rights, human rights violation. Ah. We are the ones that will speak against it." So, what do we want? Are we going to be on the sentiments? Do you want them to shoot aside somebody who is carrying AK-47? Yes or no? So, that's the so, question. I think that at the end of the day, considering how terrible this country is, we need drastic. Everybody knows we need a we need a drastic approach Measure. to solve the problem. On hundred percent, and the president already said that he can't do this because it's in a democracy. So we understand that there are some elements of um, law holding laws holding people bound, and then there's lack of political will to even solve most of the problems. But currently, it is lack of funds that will be the excuse. Um, if you ask now, let's employ people, they say, we don't have the money. We've not even paid salary of those that are on ground. Yeah. So how do we pay the salaries if we now employ more people? Um, we have been struggling to do um, NIMS, the uh, NIN. We've been unable to do it. That would have helped 
in terms of policing, and everybody has an identity card that we can use to monitor what is going they on. politicize that now, saying that now they've turned it into somebody who is an apologist, a, a terrorist mm, apologist, is, is the one sentiment. heading. Yes. So now all these colorings comes into this kind of conversation. Exactly. We don't get so any way the forward. reason for shoot at sites became political was because people felt that police officers, military men, might abuse it yeah, to execute people. People will abuse that. Yeah. So when you say this, let's do public execution. How are we sure that it will not once again be abused? No, when that one cannot strike? be abused. How? You're, you're, because there's a trial. Yeah, there's a trial. There's a criminal. And fast, not not like uh, detained without trial or something like that. You get him on site. Fast track. Boom. Kill some when you before you kill ten people in the, in this country who are criminals and bandits before you, and and corrupt officials before you take go and look at China you dare not steal money you dare not commit those things you there are many people they take them out fast yeah. you you uh, the animals need to be taken out of men so people can walk yeah so, talking <laughs> about corruption you have to so. separate the shaft from the wind. Mm -hmm. mm. They are humans who are working animals. Mm. We can't, we can this country right. is not, yeah. is not, is not, we are not civilized yet. Right. Mm. Sir, talking so, about corruption and um, your stance on how it should be dealt with, many people will say then there will be no one left mm -hmm. because. Um, there are so many accusing fingers that have been pointed to different people in the political mm -hmm. sphere. Even traditional rulers have somehow been roped in this story, you know. Yes. So who will do the catching and the executing? I, I, I can tell all you, people... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> corrupt. Mm. I never took nothing from my people. I never stole nothing. I never sold one plot of land. Doesn't matter. Let's start from here. When China did it on all the other things. Yes, when, um, when Russia started uh, what's they call capitalism now, all the gains of uh, socialism went to some people, but mm -hmm. then you start a new nation, a new nation from now on. People, what they have done in the past, you can't, yeah, some, some, if you can tell them because of the love of this nation, bring the money that you stole back. But we can't keep on saying we would put all our resources in Fighting the, 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 the crime committed back. That has okay. been done. Why, why West? Uh, from now on, okay. we start a new nation. Mm. A new nation free of corruption. We need to start now. This is the future. Today is our future. And we start building the future right now, today. Mm. Implement those laws. Enforce those laws. Kill some people. Mm. If they, this country, we're not playing anymore. Ugh. Because if you don't do this thing, our youths that you want to oppress their future, they will take laws into their hands. Mm. Anarchy will reign. Right. We don't want anarchy. Right, we me... need to let them know that our leaders can take care of this. The president, Muhammad Buhari, needs to step up to the plate right now. All right, let me take this call from Yakub. Yakub, are you there? Thanks for calling. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. Good You're morning. live. Go ahead, please. And uh, good morning to Roya Reza. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Moraya, I totally agree with you in the king this morning. When it was said that uh, we need to take all these full ideas to a process, because the people that are calling for Yoruba nation, I are speaking now, I'm from your state, I'm a Yoruba. And then uh, I don't want to go. I still want to belong to Nigeria as an entity. So how many of them calling for the Yoruba nation? There are few people. Where I totally agree with the king is this. I quickly, I want to give a typical example here. I have a brother that has a cow. And then this cow, he was married by a full of person. This full of person was living among us almost 20 years now. And then do you know that the ranching of a thing, as King Ratley said earlier, this guy does not even know what caused ranching. Yeah. And then this guy called my brother that is like, he will leave the car for him because my brother has almost 80 cows. And then was not calling my brother that he's it, yeah. like, he's going to leave this cow because they were telling them to leave. My brother said, why? He said that they are so talking about something that they will not rear the cow again. What, what are they talking about? 
Until my brother begins to tell this guy that this is what they need, he just said, okay, it is even good for him because mm. his children cannot even attend a school. If my brother can be paying him salary, you will, you will not claim be, 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 will not claim that because so that you will not move him from 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 our village down to Ilani from Ilani to Niger State, and then every two years you will come back to our village. So even sometimes we will come my brother that one or two cow lost. So. Do, do, Hmm. Hello? Hmm. I think we got, we got it. Yeah. That's, that's a good perspective. That's another perspective. Where they get shin, where they get shin, your line, what you says, how I wish other royal fathers, elder statesmen, politicians, ordinary Nigerians could reason this way. We just have to come together and work like one big family. Um, Samuel says, tell Oba that the rat in the bush told the rat outside that there is fish in the pot and the owner is asleep. He's trying to allude to the Fulani headsmen are inviting, they inviting each other that you know this is a free country and um, the arrangement of the bush. Right, okay. Yeah. So, um, um, Honorable Ademola says, I totally agree with the KBAC that strict punishment should be meted on certain crimes committed to serve as a deterrent to those who commit them. The current situation in the country demands urgent and strict measures, or else there will be a breakdown of law. Um, Samuel N said he, uh, he Oba, um, an Oba proposing the China method, laughing my. So if we, if we look at so it, some, he doesn't agree. If, 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 if we look at it in the, in the past, if we look at even the Western, the, the Western education or the Western world, yeah. even in the early stages of the democracy, they were doing stuff execution. Uh, <laughs> they were part of the public executions. Yes. It was over the years it's that the democracy got strengthened because the people had become civilized yes. and understand the rule of law. But in the early days of their democracy, there were these kind of things we were talking yeah, about. So is. maybe where we are, really, because the, we, are, we, are, we are getting a situation where we don't want to implode. Yeah, it is and when drastic you develop... Measures. I'm not saying I agree with you, but is that I can see your perspective. Yeah. But are there other ways? Because even our president mm -hmm. has expressed his frustration. That when I was a military ruler, I could I know what I would have done. But as democracy, yeah. I must go through the process. You, so you know what we're doing? Are we taking America, America in the sixties, when you commit a crime, they they even put you everywhere, wanted dead and alive. When they catch you, they hang you straight. <laughs> That's <laughs> how they sustain their democracy. Nigeria you must be hard at the first. Mm. When you become developed, mm. that's when you amend. The laws. Oh, no, sure. ah. Even the amendment that came, they still have death penalty. Mm. Mm. So it's not possible for you to say you want to build a developing nation. When without. the mental is still well, yes. we are already our laws, our system, our justice system is at a point where we can only but grant a person his total fair hearing in court. I think the only way out is speed up. Trials. Speed, uh, yeah. But in Nigeria till date, even when, when the first time came in. No, no prisons, Nima. When, no. In this country, I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. you speed up trial, you put them in prison, and somebody will blow it up yeah, for political reasons. So, yeah. so, so I hear you. So when you catch that person that blew up the yes, prison, the what person, Oluwe is saying is that a strong deterrent is to execute it, that person. I, 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 so but, 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 but do you know my own problem? That means we're trusting that the person that is supposed to enforce this if would not himself be not no, corruption. Uh -huh. And right now, you we will tell that. you, sir, and I know you're in Nigeria, you know what the state of the, uh, the nation is right yes. now. Who are the people that we can confidently Peter call and, and, and say, these are the people we trust that we enforce it without any you bias? See, the way people we... have been lied against, yeah. we know. People have been called and um, painted all sorts of names because they do not have anyone to back them up. We know that people that have money can get justice. There's a saying that say that the journey of a thousand miles start with a step. Yes, people have been disappointed in the system before. But are we still gonna be beating a dead horse? Mm. Or how, where do we move from here? We're trying to move forward. We're not trying to think about what happened before. Let there must be a solution. Solution is now. Let's start from here. You say you don't. The way we try, okay, fund the police more. Let the police, who is securing our lives, don't let them be taking peanuts of 30,000, 50,000 yeah. power. You have to, the police should be... Uh, let me link that mm, to the issue of restructuring. Yeah. People are saying devolution of powers, yeah. having state policing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Because those who are saying, there are some people saying restructuring, self-determination, not to leave Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Then let's be clear, there's a difference. Self-determination just is that we are just we are we are now a group yeah. and a recognized group. Yeah. Do you think 
Restructuring is necessary, and we need to devote their, their, their dissolved powers. No, the evolution power. of powers yes. is what I agree with. Okay. okay. Not talking about any other restructuring, that's too much uh, uh, of uh, a word to use. Restructuring my, uh, my goal it can more. Mean, it can mean different things. What of resource mean control, things. sir? Eh? What of resource control? Uh, resource control, then you're not your brother's keeper in the country. Hmm. <laughs> there resource many control other, and royalty. We, We're in a federal let, system. Let, there must be love hold us together. That why diversity. There are many other places that have this. One doesn't have that. We are we depend. To develop, on each other. Sir, can I can I can I come yeah. in here to, to develop that love? Yeah. You don't you don't you don't wake up and love. Yeah. yeah. Love is gross. Yes. yes. So for me to love, so you have something I don't have it. Yeah. If I see you, you building on that thing, mm. and I build on my own thing, everybody holding your resources. And gradually, we will respect each other. Yes. Yeah. Based on that respect I have of you and you have of me, then we cannot say, let us now collaborate. But if you're not allowing me to grow my own thing, you are now allowing, you, 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 somebody else is in charge. I don't respect, you can't just flip a switch and say, respect me so that I can give you my, my, my own resources. Mm. So I think that's what we're saying, that yeah. let each region control their resources, mm -hmm. develop at their own pace. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they now, they, to the gradually, they now begin to contribute willingly. Now, it, that's, it's not a bad idea. But what I'm still saying is that uh, uh, the, the way the evolution of powers work, I, resource control is something we have to talk about. It's a, it's a, it's a very uh, wide uh, something. So I won't... I won't um, All right. Okay. I know you were in... Um, you participated in the, in the Liberia, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'd like you to tell At us... At the early stages. At the early stages. Okay. Yeah. I'd like you to... Give us, because those who are saying, whoa, 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 I want <laughs> whoa. you to explain to them whoa. your experience in Liberia. Asking? When there's war, the only people that, that there is what is called, you, you, you don't have children anymore. Hmm. Your children, they've gone many places. You are not even trying to hold your child, even your baby. Uh, a governor, a president can become a refugee in the nearby country. Hmm. Uh, there's no food. No cars move anymore. No cars. You move, you die. There is uh, no more water, no more electricity, because those are the first thing they blow up. Hmm. But war is a kind of spirit that comes over people when it overtakes. There is nothing anymore. What they want is like, uh, you know, do you know the way prisoners that have been sentenced to life in jail do you know the way they think? Mm. They think like, let this old world be destroyed and only me come out. Mm. Rape. People eat each other. Mm. You decide when you're so hungry, you decide on who to cook. Mm. Kill and cook. There is nothing working and you don't have no more clothes. Nothing. We, uh, uh, in, uh, imagine Nigerians. Becoming refugees in nearby country. Imagine you have to be, they have to be dropping food for you from the sky before you eat. And that's United Nations. So it's too much of what you don't even want to imagine it. Mm. What war is. No husband, no wife, no, no children. Forget about children. Nothing works anymore. No school. You, you, look at Liberians, all the way from Liberia. It's not the next country to this place. Mm. Do you know that those people became refugees in Ijebuye? You have to bring them with sheep, sheep loads, without no clothes, nothing. Mm. This is a way. Uh, 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 people will be telling uh, war. Uh, Baba, uh, Jaguar, uh, father who fought war. Which war? War, uh, Kiriji war is a war. <laughs> Do you know what war is? Jet fighters? Mm. Do you know what, the kind of weapons there is now? See what happened in run. Syria. Yeah, eh? unfortunately. But I, I think... know. I, 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 I have been in a place where jet fighter is bombing me down. And I have to mm. be like, oh, no, no, no. Don't even think we about have, it. We've run out of time. Uh, but I thank you, I thank you very yeah, much for coming right. this morning. Yeah. Because sometimes it's important for us to remind ourselves of what the options are. Yes, yeah. we're in a democracy. Uh, and uh, you're giving us a few options. I hope our leaders are listening. Uh, <laughs> we'd like to also engage other intellectuals and see other options available. I mean, it's only, it can't be just one-way street. There's got to be other options. But let us continue to talk and engage each other because at the end of the day, 
we want our country. Yes. Nigeria. yes. We are all Nigerians. Yes. And it's important yes, so. that our children see this country as it is. That's all we can take on the show today. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.